hello guys i am from white corner today my blog is white sorry uh, my blog is white corner i am it's a scene was here please today it has come to super moon which earlier it was happened on 2019 in future also there it will come 2034 so this is a great opportunity so i have taken the full video of this super moon in my 54x sony camera this is zooming camera so it is in 54x pixels means we can see closer the moon super moon we can see closer that's why i have taken in that camera and kindly visit my blog by corner and enjoy this video the moon will be big and bright on 13 and 14 both the days and next let us come to the second point second the moon's gravity effects the earthly tides and super moon full moon closest to earth pulls harder on earth's oceans than an ordinary full moon that's very very important thing we have to think about it that's why super moon creates higher than usual tides now super moons happen in cycles okay so by now if you are a regular earth sky reader we have figured out that everything in the sky that happens in cycles so the super moon also no exception 14 lunar months into 29 lakh 53059 days is equal to 4 lakh 13428 days 15 aromatic months into 27 lakh 55455 is equal to 4 lakh 13318 days this 413 day time period is equal to about 1 year 1 month and 18 days if you live along coastline watch for high tides caused by number 14 super moon for a period of 7 days after number 14 these tides tend to flow the date of full moon by a day or two will the high tides cause flooding probably not unless a strong weather system moves into the coastline where you are that was the case the high super moon tides of september 2015 so guys please enjoy this video it is taken in india and it is taken in this sony camera and which is zooming camera and i have done my full efforts to show you the differences between the size as well as the brightness of the super moon thank you very much bye bye